Welcome to the eighth episode of the new Frog Song series, Meet Us at the Market. This series of short videos will keep you all up to date with the changes in our crops and products at the farm. Tune in to each episode so you know what to expect this week at the farmer's markets and our online store. We're grateful to have our videographer Morgan here to tag along with me this morning as we see the farm the second week of May 2020. The farm follows cycles throughout the year and May is the culmination of a productive spring season. Weather can make or break a harvest, so we have to work extra hard to make use of a dry interval to haul in the potatoes, carrots, and onions during the season. These crops can be saved successfully for many months to get us through the less productive Florida summers. This May has blessed the farm with some beneficial rain as well as a few nice intervals of dry weather for a great harvest. Potatoes are an important crop at our farm as they can be really productive in a short amount of time. The most difficult challenge for the crop is rotation. We must be very conscious of what was planted in the soil prior to the potatoes. We avoid any crop in the same family for three years to reduce our chances of seeing nematodes, blight, and other diseases. That means no tomatoes, peppers, or eggplants in this block for three years prior to the potatoes. If we rotate successfully with our brassicas, grasses, and other dissimilar crops, we've seen that our soil here is very favorable for a late winter and early spring planting of potatoes. We love our potatoes roasted in the oven and of course fried. Try adding some rosemary just as they're finishing cooking, which helps preserve your leftovers and taste great. We even started using our potato waste to make a vodka-based hand sanitizer. Look for a bottle at a market near you soon. All right, so our second crop here loves the heat and it grows faster and faster as the summer approaches. We plant our sweet corn on raised beds, which helps our planting survive through April downpours we saw this year. We weed our beds multiple times throughout the season with rolling cultivators, which also open the soil up to breathe after too much rain. Then we hill the beds tall with our plows before it's too late to drive over the crop with a tractor. With a lot of hard work and a little luck, we'll get some nice sweet corn with minimal weed pressure. In the field, we use biological sprays to fight the waves of worms. In the packing shed, we cut off the tip of each ear to ensure the little worm doesn't leave our field. The result are the sweetest kernels that you don't even need to cook to enjoy. Last month we saw abundant berries at the farm and this month's fruit is definitely peaches. We wait all year for peaches and in 2020 they started coming in early. We thought we may have an early end too, but this year we're seeing some awesome later varieties come in. Lots of these trees were not abundant in previous years and surprised us this year with their quality and quantity. Peaches take work each month to either mow or weed, prune or spray the trees. We have to guard our crop from the plum corculio, stink bugs, and possums. Similar to sweet corn, we use biological sprays to keep the pests at a tolerable threshold, but we can never keep them all away. So we rely on you to know the difference of flavor that our fruit has, as well as the occasional imperfection that we couldn't prevent organically. We hope you get a chance to enjoy the season crops before it's all gone. Thanks for watching today and learning about our favorite late spring crops. Please visit our website, frogsongorganics.com, to shop online. We've got tons of awesome products from our farm and our friends' farms. We'll deliver your order this week within any of the areas we're able to serve. For all those outside the delivery areas, we can still ship our healthy teas and natural preserves. Thanks for watching today, and please continue to support regenerative agriculture by shopping with us this week.